Introducing first in the red corner, representing the West Region from Los Angeles, California, this is Salvador Hasso. And in the blue corner, representing the South Region from Oxnard, California, here is Fernando Vargas. Referee for this bout, Jim McNally from Ridgely, Maryland. Two outstanding teenagers here. The youngest ever U.S. champion, Fernando Vargas, has just turned 17. Hasso is just 18. They are both outstanding prospects. Vargas and Hasso have never met. Vargas is 15-1 and one in USA boxing sanctioned bouts since starting as an amateur in the 1992 uh, Junior Olympics. He won the box off. He's lost only once. From Oxnard, California at 5'6", Hasso a little taller at 5'11", 18 years old from Los Angeles in Roosevelt High School in L.A. Vargas at Channel Island High School in Oxnard. Not Vargas much lateral great. movement Tim, from either guy there, but standing there looking to land bombs early in the fight. And a good right hand by Vargas. Talking with Vargas at his training session a couple of days ago, Kelly's an extremely mature 17-year-old. He won this national championship at age 16 and was too young to go into international competition. Some of the other uh, champions are training for the Goodwill Games and the World Cup boxing tournament. He's not old enough to be there, or he would, because he is this year's national champion. He caught Hasso sleeping and yelled at a good, solid combination. No timeouts in boxing. And Hasso looked like he was trying to take a timeout. Larry Ramirez, the director of boxing for USA Boxing, says he's a lot like Oscar De La Hoya because he thinks about what he's doing in there. Well, they told me he's the new Oscar De La Hoya. And he, uh, when he was 10 years old, he saw there was amateur boxing on television. He thought it was only confined to the pros like Mike Tyson. So he went right to the gym and has been hooked ever since. His 11-year-old brother is also a boxer. Good solid punches by Vargas. The body shot sends uh, Hasso to the canvas, but the referee Jim McNally signaled that it was not a knockdown. May have got their feet tangled up, but it was a, nonetheless a body shot that landed. And he may indeed have tripped over Vargas when he fell. Vargas coached by Eduardo Garcia. La Colonia Boxing Club in Oxnard. And here we see it again. Hasso has switched to Southpaw and, and now so has Vargas. Hasso, the 1994 Golden Gloves champion. And last year's junior champion nationally. Jim, I don't know why Vargas has switched to Southpaw at all. He was doing very well the way they were moving. Now he's back to, they're both back to Orthodox now. Vargas in green, also in red. Number one, a caution for pushing, given to Hasso. And that's the end of the first round. We'll go back and take a look at that punch that we thought was a knockdown blow. It may have been that their feet got tangled. Let's take a look. Let's see what happens here. Left hook on the chin, and down he went. There was yeah. No... In fact, nope. I thought that punch hit him on the chest, but it did appear to hit him on the chin there. Here's another angle. It looked no. like just underneath the chin, and uh, and it looked like a knockdown, didn't it, Gil? <laughs> Certainly did. <laughs> Let's take a look at the feet now. <laughs> oh, no no yeah. feet involved. Just got nailed on the chin, and down he went. And again, we should emphasize, it doesn't really matter, except as we see okay. it as a knockdown a punch. Close. That's a powerful a punch, hard. but scoring-wise, it's the same as every other punch that Vargas has landed. It scores one punch, one point. We're ready for round number two. I think our graphic showed Vargas's age as 17. Our notes here indicate he is still 16 until December 7th of this year. 
Yes, he is the youngest ever champion at age 16. The winning West National Championship, and we can see why. He's got plenty of skill. And Hasso is a tough kid as well, Tim. Yes, he's he taking, is. taking some good, solid shots and punching back. He's the 1994 Golden Gloves champion. 132 pounders. What Vargas has been able to do is catch Hasso leading. And nailing him with counters. Nice move by Hasso. Combination landed by Hasso using his longer reach. He is 5'11. Vargas at 5'6. No doubt uh, Hasso is one of the taller boxers that he has faced at 142 pounds. Into the right hand, but took a combination in return. Two good left hooks by Hasso. Salvador Hasso from San Leandro, California. Uh, uh, pardon me, uh, Los Angeles. Roosevelt High School in Los Angeles. And Vargas and Oxnard, both from the LA area. Nice combination by Vargas, right hand to the body. Came back up to the chin with those left hooks. Hasso's lost only three USA sanctioned fights and Vargas only won. Two uh, excellent teenage prospects. And there again you see Hasso reaching, which is something he shouldn't be doing. The combination scored by Vargas, four punch flurry. Another left. Let your hands go, Hasso. And a minute to go in round two. Good stiff jab by Vargas, backed up Hasso. Another good combination by Vargas as Hasso made his move. Good counter punching. Under 30 seconds we go in round two. Good solid right hand by Vargas, who's definitely picked up the pace here. When Hasso uses that left jab, he's very effective, but he's not using it enough. We're in the final seconds of round number two. There's a place to go all out. Fernando Vargas, ready for round number three, the 16-year-old national champion. Hasso, the national Golden Gloves champion. Don't wait. Don't wait, baby. Appeared to me, Gil, that Vargas uh, slowly during round two kind of asserted himself a little more strongly than uh, Hasso did. Let's see whether Hasso can rally here in the third. Well, I think what really happened to him, uh, for Hasso to win the fight, I think he should have been using that left jab overtime from the beginning of the fight. But I think he's dug himself into a hole now where just using the jab is not going to get it done. And that's the way he should fight Vargas. Not, but what happens every time he jabs, he tries to throw a right hand behind it and finds himself reaching. To double up that jab and a caution for pushing. And uh, yes, I, I'm sure part of your point, Gil, is that he has the, the longer reach of 5'11 and the ability to land that jab. Yeah, but he'll throw one jab and then he'll come back with a right hand and get hung out there. And then Vargas counters very, very well. So there he is again, left, right. It's always left, right. Good right hand landed by Cruz. No blow warning to Hasso. Lands a good right hand, Hasso, straight down the pipe. Another combination by Hasso. Vargas trying to work his way in a little bit closer. Let the hung out, hang, hang out the dry and get the good right hand. No, nothing. Good left hook. Vargas with a good combination. Finished by a left hook. They should take this kid, Hasso, and just work with that left hand. Let the other punches take care of themselves. Vargas 
in green, Salvador Hasso in red. Hasso 18, Vargas just 16. Two excellent prospects for the Atlanta U.S. team, 1996. Vargas. First meeting. Vargas seems a little tired. Tim. Mouth is open. Lands a good right hand under 30 seconds to go in the bout. Lost his balance. Stayed on his feet. Final seconds of this lightweight bout, 132 pounds. The winner will meet Dotris Biagis or Joe Federico. That bout to come later this afternoon. And both fighters raise their hands. The number of punches scored on the electronic computerized system will determine the winner. Total number of punches over three rounds. Let's go back into that third round action. The pace had slowed considerably from the first two rounds. Some infighting there, and then you saw Vargas the lose his bounce. balance as he pulled away. Now let's go for the decision of Mark O'Brien. The last bout featured 132 pounders, and your winner in a 49-19 decision in the blue corner, Fernando Vargas. He's from the South Region. 49-19, that seems like... Uh, a wider margin than I would have uh, imagined. I had it a lot closer than that, Tim. All right, well, Fernando Vargas, who is the favorite here, he is the U.S. champion, advances to the final of the Olympic Sports Festival with a victory over Salvador Hasso. And those are two good young prospects for the uh, U.S. Olympic team in 1996 when you consider that Vargas is just 16.